hey, we're given four different functions here and we wanna find the domain. See if you can pause the video and do these on your own. We're gonna go through them. Each problem is slightly different and I wanna show you some of the key things to watch out for. So for number one, the first thing that I notice here is that we have a fraction and remember, we cannot divide by zero, that's undefined. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that denominator and I'm going to factor it and set each factor equal to zero. So you can see here, if I set x to zero, we know that x cannot equal zero. And if I set x minus four equal to zero and add four to both sides, we can see that x cannot be four. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna to go to the number line and I'm going to just plot these from lowest to highest. So we can see that x cannot be zero, it cannot be four, but it can be all of these numbers, all of these numbers, and all of these values. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna write it in interval notation. The domain is from negative infinity all the way up to zero, not including zero, union zero to four, union four to infinity. And notice I'm using the parentheses uh, because it doesn't include those values. And infinity, you can never reach infinity. This is always like an open, uh, use the parentheses, an open interval. So that's the domain for number one. So for number two, we've got a square root. So how do we handle this square root here? Well, we know that we can't take the square root of a negative number. We're gonna have an imaginary value. So what we do is we say, okay, whatever's underneath that square root, let's make an inequality. Let's make it greater than or equal to zero. Greater than zero means positive. Equal to zero, the square root of zero is zero. That's okay. We just don't want it to be negative. So now if I subtract four from both sides, we see that x has to be greater than or equal to negative four. So let's go to our number line again. Here's negative four. It's equal to negative four or greater. So when we write this in interval notation, notice that it includes negative four. So I'm using the bracket. All the way to infinity, we can never reach infinity. That's an open, that's uh, a parenthesis. So that's our domain for number two. For number three, you can see that we have a square root again, but it's in the denominator. So similar to number two, where you know we had to make an inequality, two x minus three is greater than zero, but not equal to zero. Because because it's in the denominator, we don't want to divide by zero. So it just has to be positive, but not zero. So let's solve this inequality by adding three to both sides. Let's divide both sides by two. So you can see x has to be greater than three over two. Again, I like to just graph this on the number line so I can kind of think about working from left to right. So we can see that it's parentheses, three halves to infinity. That's our domain. And then the last one, number four, you can see we've got a couple things going on here. We have a fraction, so we know the denominator cannot equal zero, right? And we have a square root. We can't take the square root of a negative number. So we're combining them together, the two different things to watch out for. So here we can see that x cannot equal 1. And for the parentheses, we can see that, I'm sorry, the square root, 2 minus x has to be greater than or equal to 0. Now this one, it can equal 0 because it's in the numerator. Uh, whereas this one here, we said it had to be greater than but not equal to 0 because it was in the denominator. So let's subtract 2 from both sides. Divide both sides by negative 1. Remember, when we multiply or divide both sides by a negative, that inequality sign changes direction. Let's go to our number line here. We can see that uh, x has to be less than or equal to two, okay? But it can't equal one. So it's less than or equal to two, but it can't equal one. So when we write our intervals now, we wanna work from left to right, or low to high, and you can see this is from negative infinity all the way up to one, not including one, union one uh, to two, and it includes two, so we're gonna use the bracket. So that's our domain for the last one, and you got it. So if you're enjoying my videos, subscribe to the channel. This channel is all about helping you to raise your grades so you can pass your class and go on to pursue your dreams, and hopefully make learning math a lot less stressful. I've got links in the description below if you wanna check out a more organized list of my videos, uh, specifically for pre-calculus to help you chapter by chapter, work through these different topics. So check that out. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing my future videos and I'll talk to you soon.